When should you buy new tires? There's a lot of inaccurate common sense knowledge out there that focuses only on tread depth resulting in a lot of unsafe vehicles on the road. So I looked deeper into this topic and decided to create this video to help you decide if you need new tires. For those interested, I've included the links to my sources in the video description below. The tread depth is not the only indicator to use to determine if a tire should be replaced. There are actually three things to consider when making this decision. The tire's condition, age, and your usage conditions. Tires are often an overlooked part of car maintenance, yet it is also one of the most important parts of a safe functioning vehicle. Tires are the only thing keeping your vehicle, you, and your family connected to the road. Can you imagine flying in an airplane with one damaged wing? No. So why would you risk driving on unsafe tires that won't allow you to steer, stop, or accelerate properly? Or worse, could blow out unexpectedly. You can get into an accident where people can get seriously injured. On the other hand, even if you don't get into an accident, a violent tire blowout can cause thousands of dollars of damage to your vehicle. Look at the damage done by a tire blowout on this SUV. It's not one of the worst, but it's something you want to avoid. Find links to the full footage and the repair work done on this SUV in our video description below. So when should you replace your tires? Let's go over the three things to consider. Fracking Creations, showing you the good stuff on when to replace your tires. Before we begin, just note that this video has sections, so if needed, use the chapters function to skip to the section of interest. Tire Condition, the first thing to consider. A general rule of thumb is to replace a tire if it is showing signs of degradation or damage. The following conditions indicate that your tire should be replaced. Prominent bulges, cracks, cuts, signs of trauma, objects embedded in the sidewall, excessive uneven wear, flat spots or when less than 3 mm or 4 30 seconds of an inch of tread is remaining. For any kind of damage, even if it is less severe, it is a warning that your tire could be compromised and you should start inspecting it more often if you continue to drive with it. If you are not sure, just get it checked out by a tire professional to be sure. Don't agree or want to know why? Let's take a deeper look. Degradation and damage. A tire with bulges, blisters, cuts, or warping indicates that the internal structure of the tire has been compromised and weakened. This could be caused by physical trauma of hitting potholes, curbs, or something sharp driving with under or overinflated tires, or the tire itself could just be worn from use and the elements. They need replacing even if the tread is in great condition. Cracks and dry rot show that the rubber in the tire is starting to degrade and weaken. It can be caused by UV from sunlight, extreme cold or heat, ozone or solvents, harsh detergents, or other chemicals getting on the tires. Check out these summer tires on a car parked outside over only one winter. See how cracks have started to form around the whole circumference of the tire between the tread and sidewall. Time to replace these winter damaged tires. If the tread wear on your tire is unusual or not even, and the difference is drastic, it is probably time to replace your tires. It could be a sign that the tires have been driven underinflated or overinflated too long, or that your vehicle needs wheel alignment work, or the wheels need to be rebalanced. Flat spots from skidding on the tire or from storing a vehicle too long thereby causing the tire to deform permanently, make a tire unbalanced and should be replaced as this is unsafe and could cause damage to your vehicle. Tires worn unevenly or tires that are unbalanced could cause vibrations in the steering wheel when you are driving, but this could also be caused by poor alignment. Time to bring your vehicle to a tire professional to get it figured out. Highway or high-speed driving, driving with a heavy load or hitting any bumps or potholes on the road or any emergency maneuvers you make while driving can cause a compromised tire to blow out unexpectedly. If your tires are exhibiting any of the above tire conditions I talked about, it could be time to get new tires. Plus, any time there is sidewall damage or when the interior cords or metal belt are showing, it's also time to replace. If you choose not to, at the very least, start inspecting it regularly and frequently. This is so that if there is a drastic change or things change for the worse, you will catch it sooner and can get it taken care of before anything bad happens. If nothing is done, it is a ticking time bomb where you never know when it could blow out resulting in an accident. Tread depth. A lot of people that have something to say about this will recommend a tire be replaced at 1.6 millimeters or 2 30 seconds of an inch of tread remaining. Common advice to use coins to test tread depth is also near this limit. In Canada, US, UK, and other countries, this tread depth is the minimum requirement to meet legal safety standards for road use. That's not saying that it is safe to do so, 
This limit is not supposed to be used to determine when to change a tire, since tires have become potentially dangerous long before this limit. Tires at this state of wear will have degraded performance for stopping, steering, and accelerating. This is especially true in wet or winter conditions. That's why it is recommended to change tires when they reach 3 mm or 4 32nds of an inch of wear. But if you drive in winter conditions, the minimum increases to 4 mm or 5 32nds of an inch. So even all season tires used in the winter with less than this amount of tread remaining should be replaced for safe driving. This is recommended by both Transport Canada and Nokian tires. Check out this tire rack video comparing tire depths and stopping distance required in wet conditions traveling at 70 miles per hour. It is eye-opening to see how much more distance is required to stop. I'll provide a link to the full video in our video description below for those interested in the full test. How do you check for tread depth? All dot regulated tires have wear bars or wear indicators in the grooves of the tires. There are usually six indicators in each groove around the whole tire. These indicators tell you there is 1.6 millimeters or 2 32nds of an inch tread depth remaining when the bar is the same height as the tread. These bars are only good for telling you once you've reached the legal but unsafe limit, so it's important to use something more accurate. Take the guesswork out and stop using coins or other hacks and buy a proper tire depth gauge. A digital one like this is very accurate, worth it for your safety and definitely an important tool for every car owner. Besides, when using the coin method, it only tells you when you're long overdue for new tires. Look for our video on how to check tire tread depth using this digital tread depth gauge. Tire age, the second thing to consider. If the tire passes the physical inspection and is older than five years, it is time to start inspecting it more regularly to monitor for any degradation so you don't get a sudden tire failure one day. Transport Canada recommends that tires are inspected at least once a month, but you will have to do this more frequently if the tire is older than five years. This is because no matter how good a tire looks or even if it has a lot of tread remaining, the rubber in the tire is starting to get old. This makes the old rubber compound harder, less flexible and with less grip. This makes the tire more prone to cracks, dry rot, and failure from hard impacts like hitting potholes, speed bumps, or high stress from high speed or high load driving, including emergency maneuvers. Tire manufacturers recommend tires be replaced between five to six years of age, but no matter what condition, tires should never be used after 10 years of age. And if you didn't know already, this also applies to spare tires and tires that have been stored and not used much. See how these two tires of the same age look so different yet they are both 7 years old and should be replaced. One has obvious signs of bulging, cuts and cracks, while the other has more subtle cracks and a small bulge starting, but otherwise looks good to use with lots of tread remaining. Both are not safe anymore. One has the potential for blowout, while the other will have reduced road performance for braking, steering and accelerating, especially in the wet or winter. Note that the newer looking tire comes from a vehicle parked indoors more often resulting in less damage from UV and the environment. How do you check the age of a tire? All DOT certified tires have a date code printed on them. It's a four digit code indicating the date of manufacture. The last two digits indicate the year and the first two digits indicate the week in the year. Usage conditions, the third thing to consider. We already know now how tire condition and age plays into deciding when a tire needs to be replaced. So how does usage play into this? Things that you do to your tires can speed up its degradation or put more stress on it, thereby causing an old or compromised tire to fail sooner. Parking outdoors in harsh UV or extreme cold or hot climate exposure, driving aggressively or at high speeds, driving with heavy loads or on rough terrain, hitting potholes, getting harsh chemicals or oils on the tires, driving with over or underinflated tires, not rotating tires, and driving with alignment issues can all cause a tire to degrade faster and potentially fail earlier than expected. So in deciding when to replace your tires, you also need to assess your usage conditions when taking into account the condition and age of a tire. Someone that gives you advice where they were able to drive on a tire with bulges or large cracks for many months without issues does not necessarily translate or apply to you. Their usage and your usage conditions can vary a lot. Plus, there are many other variables that make the scenarios different. In general, the harder you are going to push your tires, the sooner you should place them when they meet the replacement criteria I talked about already. In the end, it's always up to you when you decide to replace your tires. 
Everyone's situation and priorities are different, so consider all the points I talked about and decide if it's time to change your tires. Until that time comes, start checking your current tires regularly for signs of damage, degradation, and excessive or uneven wear. Make sure to inspect the tread and both sidewalls, as the inner sidewall is equally important. To make your tires last longer, make sure to check and set the tire pressure according to your vehicle's requirements. Rotate your tires regularly and make sure your vehicle's wheel alignment is good. If you found this video useful, please subscribe, share with your friends and family, and like the video. Thanks for your support.